We're back at the Mohegan Sun, where the stakes are high, and for the lucky ones, the payouts can be too. But things are not going so well for this woman. It's our actress, Tracy, and today, She's playing someone who's lost it all. Your shoulders, you're talking. We are checking our mics. We're reaching for things. While gamblers try to win big dollars on the gaming floor, she's skimming for change on this fountain's floor, hoping to scrape enough together to head back to the slots just one more time. She's desperate and determined. Come on, baby. Come to mama. She gets some words of advice. Can't afford to gamble. But that doesn't stop her from asking for help. Do you mind if I ask a favor? Can you, because you don't have any sleeves. Do you mind if you, can you just grab a few of the quarters for me, please? I have had a rough week, please. No, they will call the police on you. Are you serious? Yes. You're not supposed to take the money out. You're supposed to put the money in. Like, they're worried about $1.50. Like yeah, but I have to go back and tell my husband that I lost all that money, and that's not what's going to be good. I know. You might need I... to go to Gambler's Anonymous. No, no, no. I don't have a problem. I just... You are digging money out the pool, and you're telling me you don't have a problem. Time and time again, customers give what they can out of their own pockets. From a few cents... I appreciate it. ...to a few dollars. Five dollars. Oh, thank you so much. And more. Wow, he gave her $50. Hey, how are you doing, sir? I'm John Quinones. I got to give you 52. <laughs> you don't know this woman. Get it back. You do good things in life to get it back. Right? And then there are those who literally provide a helping hand instead of giving a handout. Do you think this is a good idea? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's allowed? Oh, well, I don't know if it's allowed or not. But oh? I don't know. Can you grab that other one? That's a little further for me. I'm going to the slots with this money. <laughs> well, hopefully somebody's wish is going to come true. <laughs> Can you just hold on to my belt loop so I don't fall in? You got it? Almost. A little more. OK, got it. Thank you, guys. You need that quarter. Yes, sir, right? As many as you can grab. Here. Oh, you have great hands, too. That's awesome. As many as you can get. I'll hold it right here. Yeah, One. Yeah. I'm going to use this on the slot machine. I can't believe I'm doing it. Thank you so Thank you. much. You are awesome. And this next guy, Tracy doesn't give him a choice but to help her. Sir, can you do me a favor? Can you just dry these off for me? Dry them? Yes, sir. I don't need to dry them off. Dry them off, they're wet. I have to go get some more out of the pool. I got candy. Why not? No, that's the money yeah, but I'm poor. I lost money. Can I borrow that green thing around your neck? Because you if I nothing, man, nothing. It's elastic. -y. I mean, it's like a fishing no, hook. It's not a fishing pole. He looks around for a casino employee, so we send in our actress, Kristen. Somebody is taking money out of the fish pond. Who? The girl over there. See her? Kneeling down, taking money out. Did she drop something? No, she's taking it out for herself. People she make wishes. Was, she must be throwing money in. She is not. She's taking money out because she lost all her money gambling. She has a towel over there. She's drying it off, and she's going to use it to gamble. How you doing, sir? I'm John. I watched your show. Oh, uh, thank very you. Very nice. Very nicely done. So you ratted her out. Well, I did, absolutely, because she wasn't doing the right thing. I didn't get to be 83 years old being bad. Tracy tries her luck one last time by asking this woman for help. Can you just help me real quick? I can't reach far enough. Can you just hold my belt loop so I can just try to get some more coins? No. Well, I've gotten. But she makes it clear she's not up for Tracy's fountain foolishness. I've gotten 350, but I need $5 just to start this lot again. I've had a bad. You're going to make me cry now. But Tracy insists on fishing for coins just one more time. Remember what I told you? I have no problem with 
out and doing it. Stand up freaking clock. Turn on that house right there. Time to send our casino worker back in. Sticking her hands into that water, taking the money out of it. Are you sure? I mean, oh. she just looks like she went to the gym. Is it not sweat? If you're that okay. naive, then you need to go get somebody else and come over here and I'll explain the story. She asked me if I would help her hold her pants while she goes in there and takes money out because she has $3 and some change that she's already stolen out of there and needs $5 to go gamble. So you what? need to go get somebody and go over okay. there and watch this woman because I keep telling her, don't let me see you do it again because I will turn you in. Okay, let me go find someone. Did you just tell that woman? Did you just tell that woman? What? Are you the fountain police? I don't understand. I'm a human being and you're, you're, you're being a crook. You asked me to help you do it and I have no problem opening my mouth. And she, oh, she already told me she saw you doing it. Okay? She's a fountain police. I'm just... No, I'm not a fountain police. You're stealing. Hi. Oh, you got to be careful. <laughs> I'm John Quinones. This is, what would you do? So this is a setup. Oh, freaking, you're kidding me. You were serious about it. You're a bull crap. I don't believe in that crap. How ludicrous was it? It was crazy. She's going to have me help her. Oh, my God. She said, hold my belt loop. Yes. No. Oh, God, no. I don't care if she was 10 feet tall and the scariest person on earth. I don't know. I've got, that's why I said I got a backbone bigger than this building. Sorry. At the end of the day, we returned every coin that Tracy was given. And the money she took from the fountain, well, every penny was dropped right back in.